Welcome, Barber and Esports fans. We've got a match for ourselves today. It's just me, Coach Kane, coasting, uh, casting this week as well as uh, for next week's session as well. But we've got here a match for ourselves either way. No Coach Mosey here today. Uh, we've got Alec Wietrich on tank. We've got Tommy Boy Ohio, which is Thomas Cox on the DPS Reaper over here. Uh, Mott, which is Ray Crowder over on the Baptiste Sunwolf. Ryan McInerney on the... Cassidy, and then finally Preston Maxwell on the Lucio. Facing off against Avon Lake here. Barbin takes a forward hold here. Uh, Reaper a little bit cut off there. Makes me nervous for a moment, but the fire strikes alongside with the damage coming out from Sunwolf and Tommy Boy. Managed to force Avon Lake back here on this first point. Is this a substation, I believe, is the name of this particular map? No, this is not substation. This is actually, I believe, Peninsula. Here, here is the Peninsula. Making quick work of the enemy team here, we see that uh, Avon Lake really was just not ready there. I, I didn't get a good chance to observe their rollout there. Just felt like Barbara just pressed W into their their faces there. A little bit worried about Tommy there for the moment, but okay, looks like they're coming a the long way around, getting ready for the next fight. Are they seen? Yes, yes they are. A little bit of height here. I kind of like the bit of the off angle, but it feels like, you know, Bastion is going tank mode a little too early here, really spraying into Barbara. Tommy Boy does go down. Valuable pick there against the DPS. Barbin wisely retreating here. Resetting and regrouping. Ryan with the off angle rolls out to safety. Are they going to be able to deal with this bullet hose over here? We got tanks battling it out here. Alcweeper getting topped off here, but will he survive? Lamp comes out with that new buff, I believe. I think this is when the buff is live for 25 percent Window out. We'd love to see some fire strikes through, but really not in a position for it here. Instead, it's simply the amp window for Ray's heals and damage. Huge for that, though. Oh, mercy, up in the air. Alley -oop. Uh Team kill here. Alec Wiedrich going with the strikes and the, and the hammers. Uh, with that forward positioning, couldn't really take advantage of the window there, but it didn't matter because with the sustained heals coming out from Ray there, pressed from the rest of the team, uh, and, and just all around kills, Barbara managed to push it through. Looking at the alt economy, uh, they've really got a couple coming up here from uh, Avon Lake. I'm curious if they'll be able to take this next fight. Split off, uh, long wide flank from the enemy Junkrat doesn't really pan out here for them. Barbara's up on their own alt economy now. Guardian Angel comes out from the enemy team. Reaper over the top combined with the uh, Sunwolf's ult here. They know they can press Q here. Uh, I really would have maybe seen a, like to see a little bit more discipline holding those ults in the moment. However, look at the percent. They felt that at about 85% there, they could just slam ults and hold them at choke to the point where they're not going to be able to touch at all. Uh, looks like there was an attempt on the back line, but Barbara was ready for it. And because of that, we are not going to see Avon Lake get a percent on this particular uh, round here. Arctic Peninsula being the newest map added to the Overwatch 2 map pool. Uh, we may be getting a new... I don't think we're getting a new map with the next season. However, I will say that Arctic Peninsula will be the last map in the regionals, which, uh, depending on how Barbaran does in this map, and, or sorry, this match and next week's match, they should uh, clinch the spot for the regional, where they'll go up against old regional rivals like Akron Stem, uh, and then, of course, the dreaded Shaker Heights. So let's see what Barbaran can do on the second round, if they can pave their path to playoffs here. Nice, the speed boost quick, and then the swap off from Ray, I'm sure. Yes, over to the Mercy. It'll fly quickly out with the rest of the team. I like that quick rollout. Going for height here, it looks like. This is Substation, I believe. Still getting the names down. A little bit of fire traded back and forth from here. Barbin taking the high ground. Reaper flanking over here. It looks like the pod is made, and there's a little bit of a fight going on in the background here while the rest of the team's pushed up. Depending on how things go, as long as they're careful here, this could be the time for Avon Lake to push in, taking a 4v3. Unfortunately, oh, it looks like it's a 5v3, as they give a little ring around the Rosebeck, but some of wisely taking off angle to, to perch here. Will anyone go down? Ooh, with just the uh, heals from Hysteria here, not able to sustain. Uh, they were amping up the, the damage over here for Sunwolf, but not able to turn in any picks. Looks like this first cap is going to go to Avon Lake. Two picks out of Barbara, and they may be able to push here. It's 4v3. And in the background, Tommy Boy Ohio, along with Hysteria, blinking over there, causing some chaos and trouble in the back line. Oh, I'd love for them to go for this Kiriko. Yes, nice. Good. Drop them in sprays. Ice must come out. Good teleport out of Kiriko, but not enough. And the ram goes down. With this, now the team is on point and should be able to hold here. 
Tap comes out. Sustain just walking into that bastion. Not a lot he can do. Lucio goes down. This Reaper should just leave. Well, dying is one way to leave, so perhaps that was the call from his team to do the reset. I think he could have wraithed out and circled back, but at the same time, I don't know what kind of value that might have produced. Uh, dying fast was probably the move there. Tommy taking a high perch. Well, we've got our damage boosted Ash over here to take the, the, the long angle. Preston up front to kind of throw some shurikens. I'd like to see a little bit more of an angle over here, to be honest, and then rotating if needed. It just makes me a little scared that you're gonna get domed when you're out in the open like that. Tommy going for the quick fix. Ice blocks up uh, because he's, he's threatened here a little bit. Holding in this choke point. Nice eating the damage here. Tommy causing pain in the back line. The blizzard comes out. Pick against the enemy ram. All the while, oh, lift up from Alec Weaver. Two alts coming out from Barbin here. Not to mention the Bob as well. I really feel like Barbadan threw their ults there a little preemptively. I don't know if it's because the percent was on at the beginning. Maybe they, they felt they needed to, to, to really sh show their 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 stuff there. Um, I, I think one ult, maybe two could have been used there. Three is, is definitely overkill. Uh, certainly something that I hope the team uh, was, was using because they, they felt that they, they needed to. But if they really sat and uh, looked at it, I think they should have realized that they Maybe they maybe they wanted to more than they needed to there. I don't know. Rock's going out. Rush into the point here, or rather into the hole. Uh, this team should just disengage. They they should they should be walking this way. They're not though. They're beating a nice wall from top. Never the team up, but with this Ramatra ult here, are they going to be able to deal with it? Ramatra is oftentimes the the hero who just forces people out of the fight. No picks from. All that ult usage, though, really nice uh, sustain out of Barberton here. Pistol comes out, Mercy gets the pick alongside a Sleepless there, down there. Nice kill. Didn't need to keep the heals up there because, well, they, they weren't getting pressure. Is this Ram going down? Yes, Tommy Boyle How gets the pick in the back line with a couple of Hysteria. Fights left and right, left and right. Another Blizzard already. That's crazy how quick that charge came out from Tommy on that. It felt like they just used it uh, not too long ago. And that's it. First map, Arctic Peninsula goes 2-0 to Barbadon. I really didn't expect uh, for them to lose that first fight, but I think that uh, perhaps Alec didn't realize that uh, the heals weren't on them right there. It was more of the damage boost that we were doing at the time. Or maybe uh, they just couldn't get a, a, an angle for the flight over. Uh, regardless, first map over to uh, Barbadon. Let's see if Avon Lake can have a stronger showing on our second map, whatever that may be. We've got King's Row for you here, a classic and a favorite. We're gonna shoot ahead a little bit uh, in the timestamp here to when things first get started. Since we know who the heroes are, we see uh, we've swapped uh, Alec Weaver out and Caden in. So Fincher is now in on tank, and we also see uh, Preston Maxwell swapped out for uh, Yi in this case, who's on the Zen. So there's small changes here, but we know this map, we know the setup, we know the heroes at this stage in the season. So we just see a uh, very nice strat here. You know, you can't really walk into the hammer that easily. And with the ice blocks, it's pretty easy to hold them at ch uh, choke. However, Barton backs up a little bit here. I think they were a little worried about the health of their heroes and maybe cooldown management. They realized they needed to give a bit of space. Uh, unfortunately for Avon Lake, they did not uh, take any space. And then a nice pick from a combination of a couple heroes applying pressure onto that Hanzo. This wall, I really like to see them push forward. Yes, pushes come out. Kiriko blinks out. I don't think they need to go for anything else here. Sunwolf going for a few picks. See if he can get anything. Nice fire strike to build some all charge, but they decide wisely to kind of settle back where they were. Uh, we see Ray taking up the standard Ana position. Uh, Mikey peeking uh, corners and edges here. Nice pick on the uh, Hanzo who's looking up top. Uh, not usually, usually Hanzo's perched more up here. Uh, I, I'd rather see a Widow from up there out of Avon Lake. Oh, that Lucio is so low with that uh, Zen orb on him. The Rams do a nice job trying to force him out of this corner, but Barbara can just sit outside of that uh, AoE there. Hammer's coming out, swinging dangerously. They, like, just so they say, hey, do you want to come and walk through this hammer? And Avon Lake is wisely saying no, but at some point they're going to have to get there. Nice try from Tommy to trap the uh, Ramatra, but the walls did not quite connect. This time, though, you get the finish after the hammer swing. Uh, nice. Two alts here committed from Barbarin. The freeze and then the hammer to say sit down. Uh, the Hanzo ult comes out, but it's when his whole team's dead. So even if he had got picks there, I don't know they would have been able to translate that into any wins. And Barbarin is able to walk left and right of it and just not be threatened. Plus, with the heals coming out, they were able to uh, keep the heroes alive through that ult. 
Perhaps Hanzo, if, I don't know if he had the ult during that uh, Blizzard Shatter. If he did, that might have been the time to throw it so Barbara couldn't capitalize off of that. However, that's not what happened, and unfortunately for Avon Lake, Barbara continues to dominate. I'd really like them to speed right here uh, from Avon Lake. Oh, Junkrat up top. Is he going to get any picks? Uh, they, 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 Barberton susses him out and gets the, the kills. I, I think Avon, uh, once that ice wall is on cooldown, they really should just be, can they get this Ash? Oh, the heals come up on her. I think she's going to get away. Is Tommy Boy going to be punished? No, he has the wall. He does not have the wall for defense now. This is when uh, this team, Avon Lake, needs to just shift and push through here and take a wide angle. So I'm trying to fight into this run. They're making a, com a, a mistake. We see a lot of teams who are a bit on the uh, emerging level of play here. Nice wall off on the Bob. Uh, once again, Heroes going down. They're trying to go up and over here. Split away from their own team. Uh, a lot of teams think, let's let's we, if we just do what we're doing harder and better, we'll be able to push through. But that's not working. They need some Hero Swap or a Strategy Swap. I'll stop trying to walk into the May and the... Uh, and into the... Uh, okay. Hold on here. I think we tranced here to kind of go for some aggressive plays and force them in. There's only 30 seconds left. Ball is out, though. Will he be able to get a touch? Nice sleep out from Ray. Good finish on the Wrecking Ball. They, they should have said speed boost. Go here. Press in. Or, or speed boost to maybe through the Rhine. I think that's still a little dangerous. They just need to go around him. Or get some other heroes. I don't know. It just it just feels like... I don't think Ram's bad on this. I think Ram's pretty good. But, uh, ooh, nice pick from Sun. High Noon comes out, gets a pick. Tommy holding a choke there while the rest of the heroes who are attempting to touch just don't. Celebratory slam on the corpse of the uh, Zarya here. We saw so many tank swaps there. Can Barberton get a tick? I'm, I'm going to go ahead and go out on a limb and say that, that Barberton shouldn't have a problem getting a tick here. King's Row is very well practiced, very well solved for veteran teams. If, if you're a newer Overwatch team, I really feel like you should not play King's Row every chance you get because it can throw off the well-solved meta. If, if you're not familiar with the meta, if you're a newer team and you're playing as a team with experience, they're going to know what to do on King's Row. If you don't know exactly what to do and how to execute it perfectly, then you need to not play on King's Row uh, just because it's it's too dangerous. Let's roll this ahead. We can put another 20 seconds up. There we go. Five. We see Ryan's uh, Widow up here. Will we start seeing the picks? Oh, all these heroes out in the open. I think this is a feeding frenzy for Ryan McInerney on this, if uh, his Widow is looking sharp today. Tommy Boy Ohio teleports on the high ground. Very dangerous, but with the supporting fire from the Widow, able to get in, get out. See these turrets here? They're placed a little too close. One Ryan swing's going to take them all out. I'd like to see them spread a little bit more if they're going to that turret strat. Yep, quickly eliminated by Barberton. Nice purple coming out. Caden in trouble here, does go down. Harden might have to disengage here. He follows as well. Ray getting out. McKinney getting some picks here. Gonna make it a long walk to spawn. Support's trying to escape here. Tommy Boy wow, going in. There are some supports here. Looks like he's just gonna get some picks. I don't think they expected him to walk in here. But with that Barberton back on the on the point. They're going forward to get some picks and say, hey, nobody come, nobody come. Let's just keep them here. We can just have three on to get a quick tick, and we do. With that, another map to Barberton. Will the third round be a comeback from Avon Lake, or will we see Barberton continue to dominate this series? Let's join them on whatever our next map is and find out. Welcome back. We're on Route 66, a favorite map of Barbara. I know that they, they, at least it seems that way. We certainly found ourselves on this map many a time before. Any swaps here? Yes, we do have a couple. We have uh, Brian Stamich in for uh, Ray Crowder on this last one. And we also have, let's see, uh, Hunter Rowland in for Ryan McInerney. We still have Caden. Uh, oh, actually, another support swap as well. Yi is out for uh, Preston Maxwell's back in on this one. So, Tommy Boy Ohio, uh, present for all three games here. And then, in addition to that, uh, Fincher is still on our tank in this moment. Five, Tommy being subbed up from JV again. Um, showing a lot of talent and really, uh, uh, I, I do not expect them to stay on JV in the future. You know, something we've been saying all season, they've really been climbing in, in a way that was not expected when they originally received their JV assignment. But it is pretty standard practice for first-year players, too. Our first season players to run on JV. 
Giving a lot of space here, but that's fine. The real fight happens at this corner. Fincher taking a look at that. Oh. Preston being threatened a little bit, but this Genji doesn't know what to do with his cooldowns here. I think he just kind of got a little lost in that moment. Tommy shooting into the team, goes purple. Rapes out, gets a cleanse off as well, but just goes down. Too much damage into him. Those hammers are a real threat. Sojourn goes into the back. We see... Oh, you're crying. I don't know what happened there. I missed what happened. Did he slide off? I'll have to go back and see that. Not sure what happened, but Fincher monkeying around. Putting pressure on, going into the back line. I don't know if his supports are going to be able to follow him here. This is a chance where this Genji could wreck some real mayhem on Barbarin's line. Unfortunately, not able to close the deal. Swap from Tommy over to the Echo. He needs to be a little careful. A little harder to get out on Echo than it is on a uh, Reaper. Picking Caden on this Genji again. Can't deflect electricity. Don't try. This Ryan doesn't really seem to know where to face. His shield does finally come out to protect him. And his backline being threatened is, is sort of cut off from him. And these supports really need to do a better job of keeping their Ryan up and playing a little closer. As Barber's applying force and pressure here, they're just getting split. They're, they're, they're in this super long straight line, and Barber just keeps diving into those lines and taking little pieces out of that chain of Avon Lake. That was a very quick uh, primal for Barber, it felt like. But if we look at the alt economy, Barber really hasn't built that many alts, as opposed to the amount of damage that has been healed out, but I'd say that Avon has the alt economy. They should be able to get this. Barber's alt economy is about to equalize with Avon. Slam comes out. Preston goes down. But the rush does come up before him, but Barber's not really playing in the rush outside of uh, Tommy here. It's a little hard to, honestly, with these big hammer man's swings. However, as the enemy team shifts around, oh, Tommy does go out with the echo alt, but doesn't get a ton of value other than a quick pin. Able to finish off the enemy Genji, and now it looks like 3v2. I think Barbara can take this. Absolutely. If we saw a little bit more mechanics out of Avon Lake, I really think that they could be capitalizing on these fights. Kind of rolling back on the Sojourn, back and ready to fire. I think they went down a little bit earlier in that last fight. Take some height with their team here, that's nice. I'd like to see them pressure this, uh, Baptiste is up on this high ground. This Ryan's in so far. Uh, when he goes in like that, I feel like Barberman should start to counter by diving that back line again. Or just killing this Ryan when he's so far up and, and it's harder to support him. Good sleep out from uh, the Ana Mystic over here on Avon Lake. Barberman, oh, getting beaten back a little bit here. Can they make it out here? You see a couple of heroes. Yep, nice dis disengage from Hunter Roland. In the back line, this fight's going. Mystic is picked by Tommy. Can he get out of there? Does he have the flight? He does. Preston, however, may not be so lucky. He teleports out on the Kiriko. Nice. You're crying in deep. Going for the picks. Gets two. Does pay with it for his life, but at the same time, I think that was absolutely worth it. Cutting off all the support, the res comes out. DPS back up. I think that was a great, cha uh, a great choice of ultimate there. And then also pressuring. I'd like to see the, the ult played a little bit further back. Didn't need to be quite in the face as much. You know, that's kind of what results in the uh, hammer coming down on them a little bit there. But with the Mercy, they were able to, to walk that off with a quick res. Get this. Baptiste out of here. He's so low. Oh, my God. Okay, finally. Goes down. Hammer connects with three. Kills the Mercy on this. Lamp comes out, but I think that... Uh, I think Tommy Boy... Uh, absolutely did not mean to copy this bad piece. Wanted to hit the Ryan and instead uh, chucked a lamp. He said, you know, I, I don't mean to be on this hero. I guess I'll throw a lamp. I know lamp is a thing that is helpful. Not helpful in that moment or in that placement, but the, the thought was there. With that first round over, Barberton has a pretty nice hold here. They just need to put a shit a little over 44 meters, and they should be able to take this. Uh, once again, feeling pretty confident at Barberton's ability to do this. Let's roll us ahead here so we're not waiting too much for the timer to tick down. There we go. We got 10 seconds. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, okay. A hog on this map. Interesting. Not something I would really do here. Um, hog is, at least at the time of this patch, really felt a little underwhelming still. Um, I think I think this was pre the 25% buff. Might have been the first day it was live, though, for the, the lamp and then the hog changes. Hog definitely did, has gotten better recently, but I just don't think that he's going to give them the value they need to hold and defend here. Yep, 
he, he goes down. A lot of damage is thrown into him, and he's dead. He has no barriers to really protect him. Um, didn't even need a purple out to uh, to, to do this. And Barbadon has, has picked everyone on Avon. Like, this should be a quick walk-in. They're keeping three on to move the cart quickly. Spray's coming out just to say, hey, let, let's hold them here. I don't think they're going to be able to get here fast enough to touch. They don't have fast heroes. No swaps to Ball or Lucio or anything. And that ends the series. A little anticlimactic at the end there. But um, that hog was just far too... Uh, not the right pick and just too far forward. Uh, ate so much damage from Barbadon that once the hog fell, then the rest of the team had no tank to depend on. And it was just a, a quick roll from there. Well, we'll join you next week. With this, Barbadon's path to the regional playoffs is secured. However, will they have a better or worse seed? That depends on how they do next week. So we will join you for that cast soon. Until next time, Barbadon Esports fans, go Magics.